of the best guests who are here with us this morning. We are exploring a crucial and transformative development in our community, formerly known as Friends for Life. Now the rebranded Friends for All stands resolute in stopping the spread of HIV and AIDS in the Mid-South, which has more than double the cases than the national average. There is so much more to this organization, though. That's just the beginning. Joining me now in welcoming that Diane Duke from the Friends for All organization and Chooch Pickard, who you're with H2O and you helped build the new facility. So this is very exciting. Well, first of all, could you just introduce folks to Friends for All, the new name and why the new name and, and what is it? So we've been, since 1985, we've been, you know, trying to prevent spread of transmission of HIV in the Mid-South. And originally the organization started help people who were HIV positive die with dignity. But fast forward to now, you don't need, it's not a death sentence. People can live long, happy, healthy lives. But in Memphis, we're second in the nation of new transmission, second in the nation. And with all the hard work that Friends for All is doing and our coalition partners, we just had to take a step back and say, what is it that about Memphis that is different? And so what we, what we found is it's the social drivers of health. So food insecurity, housing insecurity, um, you know, lack of education, lack of um, health, health disparities. So all of these things were the things that are really leading to HIV being second in the nation. So just instead of hyper-focusing on people with HIV, we really wanted to take a step back and focus on why are people getting HIV. So instead of being Friends for Life, we're, we changed the name to Friends oh for Life. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. And okay, so talking about, you know, providing stable housing, as an architect, that was something for you, Chooch, you know, to just keep in mind as you guys were expanding this, lo this space. Well, actually the housing component of it is not exactly part of the building other than we house the housing department. Uh, really, as far as the building goes, uh -huh. um, it, it's allowed them to increase their their uh, what they get do in the community just by tenfold. Um, more room for all of the, the things they do in there, the, a, a bigger food pantry, an actual teaching kitchen to teach people about how to how to cook with healthy foods, uh, behavioral health, physical health, all of the things that keep somebody healthy. Uh, a job resource center. I mean, it's really amazing what we're able to put into that building. Really, and so okay, so tell me about when when you were able to open it and and how how it's progressing and and, and I mean I'm just excited about this teaching kitchen. I'm like, what? So, yeah. so uh, we opened the, had brought clients in by the end of October. Mm -hmm. And so they've been serving uh, clients out of there since then and the clients all seem to love it. Um, it's just a completely different experience from a old health department looking building on Cleveland <laughs> to a 4,000 square foot Look renovated mid-century building that um, a lot of people know um, in Midtown. It sits up on the hill at 1548 Poplar Avenue. and. Uh, I'm really proud of how it looks. You now, did so. that, Chooch. Stop. He like, he's like, he's, he's just like, oh, you know. No, I but just, um, <laughs> talk to me about the Dignity Campaign. That's a really interesting name. So one of the reasons that, that HIV is so high in the Memphis area is there, it's a stigma associated with it. But we have been just, you know, fighting stigma since we've started and our coalition partners as well. So we decided to be more proactive. So everything about that building and everything about we do, what we do is now about raising people's dignity. And if you're HIV positive, you, you don't have to lose your dignity. You don't have to, you know, there is nothing that you should be stigmatized for. So um, the building itself, when you walk in, you could see how beautiful it is and all the work that Chooch and our project manager did to get it going. But um, it's all about, there, you know, being a one-stop shop, there's a, you know, exercise studio there. There's, you know, the teaching kitchen. So it's about, instead of, you know, coming into a, a, a dilapidated building, when people walk through the door, it's how can we help you? What can we do for you? And um, it's about really lifting up their dignity. And that go to friendsforall.org. There's a way to know how to give and how to support all of this amazing work. Thank you so much, Diane and Chooch, for coming in. And happy holidays. Happy and holidays. Merry Christmas. Yes. All the things.